Greetings, Dan Stanis here. This is XAMPP Control Panel. I'm trying to get uh, my Apache server on the, on the local area network to listen specifically to any requests coming, um, well, any requests for this URL. Uh, because that is the URL of this machine. and this website, which I want to publicly have available to all users in my, on, my lo on my local area network. <clears throat> I saved that, and just so we're clear, it is the IP address of, of this machine, 192.168.1.108. So that is the IP address. When I try to start Apache, it gives me this error. <clears throat> An unexpected shutdown. So um, if I'm even more specific and include the exact location, save that, start, it'll also die. And just so you're, uh, just so you know, um, currently Apache is listening on the main port 1337. That's why I included 1337 here. So maybe what I need to do is <coughs> change this to 1337, save, save, start, and it dies again. So it doesn't like that. <coughs> and so it changes back. And use what works, and hopefully it works again. Great. Now it's not working at all. Uh, so I'll quit. That was the only thing I changed. And I'll start XAMPP again. Click start. And it died on me. Um, that's discouraging. Ah, maybe because now it's still listening on one three three seven. <clears throat> and that was the only thing I changed. This was the same, and it worked. And I changed this server name, localhost, localhost80, localhost80. That's the same. Maybe I need to include the whole phrase there. Control S. I don't think I do. <coughs> Save. Start. Well, look at that. It works. At least it seems like it's working. So stop that. And now we'll try again. Server name. Server name localhost. We'll try one three three seven. Save. Start. Okay. That seems to be working. Uh, the proof, of course, is in the web page. 
Ah, wait, it's not going to start because my skill is not ready. And now we'll try again. F5. Okay, it's working. So let's go here. And I'm going to try the full URL 192.168.1.1. At 108.1337. Stop, stop, start. Looks like it's working. Start. Looks like it's working. Test the website. Yeah, looks like it's working. So, now the question and the goal here has been to get my web server to run on the local area network, and now I'm going to test it on my another browser, another device, and I click try again, and it doesn't look like it's going to load. No, it doesn't look like it's working. 192.168.1.108.1337 not working. Let me back that out and try again. Connection is timed out. Uh, maybe I need to put the whole local host thing in there. Local host. I'm entering this on a different computer, so you're not seeing it, it's just me talking through it. Localhost colon one nine two one six eight. Right, so it's not working. <clears throat> but let's uh, just make sure for sanity's sake it works when I stop everything. Stop, stop, start. Second working. Start. Second working. And let's go to the WordPress site. <coughs> F5 and it still works. Okay, so what did we learn here? We learned that if we're going to set the, uh, the server name, you have to use the whole server name. And that a variety of server names will actually work. Uh, and I probably don't want to use this for generic. But I want to use this one one three three seven save <coughs> stop stop and then again we're gonna test it again make sure it works should work start Right. Let's say it's working and F5 still works, but I still cannot access this URL on the local area network. On the local area network, which is the goal. If you have any tips or tricks on how to do this in Windows, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you and happy computing.